One of the best jobs I ever had was working at an assistant managing a now defunct Hollywood video. I mean, sure, the pay was the shits, the hours sucked, and it was probably the most boring retail experience I've ever had, but being surrounded by movies all day and getting to talk film with customers was actually a really good time. I mean, I even went into work drunk once and nobody gave a shit. It was so boring, in fact, that I used to walk around and find movies that didn't have proper cases and then just write my own synopsis on the back. We also had this one DVD that was called Zoo, which was a documentary about a dude getting plowed by a horse, and I just kind of randomly place it on one of my fellow co workers recommended walls all the time. Ah, oh, memories. So I figured today I would take a look at the 1990s blockbuster training video and see how blockbuster went about indoctrinating its workers into his retail cult. Cause at my video store, no one gave a damn. Training was basically, you press a button on computer and take money. Basically, if you had the intelligence of a Nat's left nutsack, you were good to go. Oh, excuse oh, me. Oh. Ah, oh, the good old days, long before the woke future where you could bump into a Karen by accident and not have it immediately be considered a hate crime. It was awful. Can you imagine trying to make conversation with Mr. Harris? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's back now. Good. Oh, man, anyone who's ever worked retail knows that exact laugh and look. Like, bitch, I get paid minimum wage. Shut up and let me hate my existence in peace. That's like when somebody asks you, how you doing today? And you go, oh, living the dream, which is code for... I should have stepped into traffic this morning. <coughs> Yo, Marie! Hey, let's wake up! Oh, uh, who are you? I bet this chick is wishing she didn't dope up before she came to work today. So basically this chick, Marie, starts hallucinating that Buster Sales, and yes that's actually what his name is, is trying to teach her the ways of maximizing VHS sales by constantly annoying the absolute shit out of her. It's really all the same stuff that retail jobs try to push on their workers nowadays. Nothing's really changed. Oh, I'm sorry. What movie did you want? Well, actually I wanted to see Sean Connery in The Hunt for Red October, but you're out. Well, I'm sure we have some copies coming in later today. And we probably have some other Sean Connery movies. I told her we had other Connery movies. But can you name one? Could you have placed the Connery tape in Mrs. Harris's hand? I guess so. But sometimes I forget the titles. I used to work with people like this. Customers would ask them about certain movies, and then they'd give them like this thousand yard stare. Like, you could literally smell the circuit shorting out. And then I'd just slide in with like my fedora. Like, I waited my entire life for this moment. Just drop that atom bomb of pointless movie knowledge on them. Like the world's just shittiest superhero. Excuse me, is there something I can help you find? Oh, I doubt it. I'm a 60s movie buff. And I've been to eight video stores in the last three days looking for the last movie, I don't know the name, that had both Peter Sellers and, and Woody Allen in it. Nobody has it. Uh, that would be Casino Royale. It's a spoof on James Bond films. Oh, so she can't name any Sean Connery movies, but she can remember an obscure-ass Bond spoof like Casino Royale? Yeah, okay. There's like this running subplot where Marie here really wants to lather up the pull of the chick from the beginning sun, and by using all her life skills entrusted upon her by the blockbuster gods, she can finally get that date she's always wanted. See guys, it's not actually retail brainwashing. It's just life advice. Hello, Mrs. Simpson. Hi, Marie. Uh, Marie, have you ever met my son, Douglas? Hi, Doug. Hello, Marie. Hello, Marie. All right, Doug, you need to just fucking chill, bro. Come on up, Doug. Goodbye, Marie. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Doug, Jesus, man. Maybe my town was just a special example, but the amount of dudes like this that would come in and creep on our female employees was just absolutely insane. Okay, 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 already. I should have told him about the VCP rentals and cables. Joan? Oh, Marie. Have we found a little friend to talk to? Oh, friend? Oh, no, I was... I right. was... Right. See, it's not just Marie. Retail just does this to your brain. You just, you lose it. So that was total cringe, but I mean, let's face it, at least it had more personality than the corporate training videos we see nowadays that are barely a step away from a PowerPoint presentation. Like, if this had been part of the training process of my other retail jobs, I probably wouldn't have hated myself so much. With the overabundance of streaming services nowadays, there's really no business to be made by physical video stores, and it's really sad, because I mean, heading out on a Friday night, hoping to God the movie you wanted was actually there, the smell of the tapes and the DVDs, I don't know man, it was, it was always an event. It's really weird to me that most kids nowadays don't even know what a VHS tape is. God, we're gonna get to a point where kids aren't even gonna know what a DVD is. So it falls upon dinosaurs like myself to just turn our basements into video stores, because that's really all we can do. Play the movie.